In many ways, Helen Bentley was the mother of Maryland's Republican Party, a no-nonsense advocate for manufacturing, maritime, defense, and fair trade. And no matter the original purpose of your interview with her, the conversation would invariably shift to the center of her soul, the Port of Baltimore, like when we spoke this past spring. So I went down, and I fell in love with it, and I'm still there. In 1945, then Bentley began covering the port for the Baltimore the Sun as a maritime sun. reporter. One is my first byline article at the Sun. In 1969, President Nixon appointed her as chairman of the Federal Maritime Commission, the first woman appointed by a president to head a regulatory agency. Later, she would credit her childhood for giving her the chops to work side by side with the men. I guess it's because I grew up with a couple of rough brothers who um, used to not beat me up, but they really gave me a hard time and I learned how to survive with them. Appreciate your vote today. In 1984, Bentley was elected to serve the first of five terms in Congress, representing Maryland's second congressional district. Known for her negotiating skills, she helped mediate a dock worker's strike five years later. For the 41st president of the United States of America, George Bush. She was a fierce party loyalist, and when she wasn't in Washington, Washington came to her. We've got to keep this, and then frankly, we've got to pick up more seats like this in Maryland and all across this country. Three years ago, Helen Bentley was asked how she wanted history to remember her. That I was a hard worker, that I had integrity, there were no scandals with my years in Congress, and I helped a lot of young people and a lot of old people. Helen Bentley, a witness to history, a woman who lived it, serving Maryland the only way she knew how, tirelessly. Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News. Helen Bentley was 92 years old. Details of her final services have not been announced yet.